New at 10, an elderly woman is accused of killing her neighbor, and apparently his wife said she was powerless to save him. She witnessed the shooting on Baybriar Drive in Missouri City, but says the suspect threatened to kill her if she tried to help her husband. ABC 13's Alex Bazargian is live outside HPD's Southwest Houston substation. So, Alex, what caused this woman to snap? Well, the victim's wife said that her husband um, was really somebody who hung out in the neighborhood was good to everybody but this 75 year old suspect was always giving them issues she said the 75 year old suspect really acted as a watchdog but was more like a bully and she says that after her husband was shot she claims that the suspect stopped her from helping him and said that she'd shoot her he ain't supposed to go like this timmy evans says her husband darrow lost his life inches from their home According to Houston police, he was shot by his longtime neighbor, 75 year old Barbara Blue. Last thing I heard him say was, why, why you hate me? So I have never did nothing to you, you know, been nothing but good to you. And she shot him three times. Pop, pop, pop. Evans says her husband might still be alive today had Blue allowed her to render aid. Instead, she says Blue turned the gun on her. I was going front, back and forth, trying to, you know, trying to get still go to him. And my husband's on the ground and he had his own, raising his arm up like this saying, go back, Tammy. She gonna shoot you. Neighbors we spoke to described Blue as a bully. They say she complained about noise, kids playing in the street, and at times where Daryl parked his cars. I always wanted to control the neighborhood. Andrian Thompson only moved in a year ago, but he says he and Daryl became close. Daryl's favorite chair now sitting empty on the lawn. It's going to be a sad day in the neighborhood for a while because, you know, like I say, everybody always came to Daryl's house. A house Evan says feels empty without him. And she took my husband from me, my best friend. Blue is currently charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, but those charges could be upgraded pending the investigation. We did reach out to Blue's attorney, who says she was only recently appointed the case and couldn't comment further. In Missouri City, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Yeah, man, so what got me on this one is that, you know, the woman, she's 75 years old. Uh, but then I had to tell myself, you know, don't be surprised or shocked, you know, by this woman's age. Because regardless of age, people can still make bad decisions, bad choices. And age doesn't always mean somebody's wise. Um, but, yeah, listen, to me, th that whole story sounds like this woman was a busybody who thought that she was in charge of the neighborhood and everybody that lived there. Um, multiple people or multiple neighbors, they've had issues with her. And um, I, I just don't understand why do some people think that they own the entire neighborhood or because they've lived there longer than everybody else. That gives them dominion over others who move in. It's like they don't they don't have anything else better to do with their time other than bothering people. She's 75 years old and now she's looking at spending the rest of her days in prison instead of enjoying her twilight years in her home or on a beach somewhere. You know, people, people need to learn to mind their own business, leave others alone, and just stop being so bothered by what others are doing. Whatever the issue was, a gun didn't need to be introduced to that situation. Plus, she wouldn't let the victim's wife perform first aid, and she even pointed the gun at the, uh, at the wife. But, um, I mean, in a, in a perfect world, it would be nice if we could choose our neighbors, but the reality is that we can't. And since we can't, I think it's important to find ways to get along without things escalating uh, to violence like it did in this situation. I mean, you, you don't have to be best friends and buddy-buddy with your neighbors. It would be cool if you are, but, you know, it, I don't know. If you can't stand being around people and um, what they're doing bothers you so much that you can't live without infringing on the, uh, the peace of the neighbors around you, then maybe move out to the stick somewhere. You know, th where there's nobody around you for miles. You know, people have done it. People have moved out to the boonies and they said they love it. So I don't know. That's just a suggestion. But, you know, stuff like this shouldn't happen. Um, so y'all take care, stay safe and just make better choices. Peace.